Hi everyone, so today let's take a look at something really simple but so important and that is dodge and burn. Today we're gonna keep it simple and we're gonna do no action, no buttons and just learn how to do it. Disclaimer, this is completely method I picked up I don't know where but I've been using it for around 10 years. You learn it in 5 minutes as now I will demonstrate. So dodge and burn is a technique where you take the highlights and the shadows of the certain image, let's say a portrait, let's show it, and then you balance it. Show and tell will be far easier here, so we will go to it, but a quick overview. Dodge and burn is easy, it's so easy that everybody can do it. The trick about it is how to use it, you need to be precise with it, gentle, and not to do it too much. If you do it too much, it's over the top. It's too much. Uh, the image looks fake. It's like frequency separation gone wrong if you do it wrong. We all have pores, we all have wrinkles, we all have defects about our skin. And you still need to keep them there. It still needs texture. So dodge and burn only helps to give that texture a nicer look. So we have this image. This is from a recent beauty that I did. This image is still completely unedited. We will go over just a quick dodge and burn and how I would do it. To be honest, this will not be super precise because we need to be quick. We will go the long way around, which is how to do it just being you. Okay, so we have blank image. Now we want to do dodge. We go to adjustments. We go to curves. We see squares and we put it one up. This is your dodge layer. You close it. Now you have white. And then you see the whole image is overexposed by one stop that you put. So what now? Well, you can go the long way around, you go to paint bucket, you pick black. So there is of course a shortcut. On the mat there is command and I. So to put it simply, we hidden an overexposed image that is brighter. So now we use brush on opacity 100 and flow 2 to 3 percent. I like to use 2. And why do we use flow? Well, flow means when you hold and go over it, it gets brighter and brighter. So the more mask is stripped away. On opacity, nothing happens, only the 2 percent. So you need to click every time you want more mask. I'm using a pen and uh, become not um, into a pro, yes. <laughs> for a beginner, it is really hard to know what to look for because the easiest thing, at least for me, is to go to adjustments, black and white, turn the red a little bit more down, and then you see, and you see them quite clearly. So, example is this, 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 this is definitely an example. For this image, because it's beauty, I usually work at, let's say, 200% and 100, so I go to details, but then I zoom out, because for some things you need to see the whole image. Okay, we're blending this, and we're definitely blending this, but I do it a little bit, just so the skin tone is more harmonious. So you need to always paint with white. And here, that's too much, so you see even on 2%, you really can go quite fast to be too much. So be gentle, be precise, not like me here. Also, I always do this after cloning and healing the skin. Here, this is not done yet. This is just, uh, but you can see like real skin. This is the problems that we have to deal with. And I didn't want to like give you already retouched image and just go, yes, just do this. So yeah. Not over the top, because as said, we never want to go over the top. We turn off the black and white, and the difference... So, as you can see, I did it too much on purpose this time, but you can see even on two how quickly that this happens quickly. What to do? Well, you can turn the opacity of the whole layer down and see where you are. So this is okay, this is far better, this is how I would do it from the start. 
so you can see a difference. But then you take even lower flow, let's say 1%, you turn on black and white layer, and now you can be gentle with it. For some people, having a black and white layer is not helpful, so you can always turn it off and just go by the fill. Usually when I'm in a hurry, or depending on the image, I just put nothing. I just do dodge and burn like a, well, like a savage. So no black and white, just like really quickly, well quickly, like half an hour. <laughs> but here you see I'm just doing minimal on really not zoomed image. You can go here and now you can see all the spots. We can like do really small things. Really, really, really smaller scale. So that is the dodge part. What about the burn? Well, that's kind of similar, but only in reverse. So you go to adjustments, curves, you put it one square down, and then again, command I. Burn is just used for smaller area. So burn is always used not for overexposed, but just to balance thing out. What else? Well, on this image, I actually wouldn't burn so much. Only a few little things. You can see how quickly we can go overboard. You can always try and just do undo. See, here it doesn't work because we need to use clone or frequency to get better results. What about eyebrows? Well, yes, here burn is quite good. We have not so much in the eyebrow area, as you see, not me. You can just go over it gently to give them a little bit more, uh, what's the word, possess, so something like this. See, even more convincing. Here, not too much again. Maybe here, but I actually like that some part of it is a little bit brighter, gives it more character. And then, of course, you can rename them. Burn. Burn. Yes. This one is Dutch. So you know what you are doing. It's like just me goofing off and just showing you what to do. And there is still a difference. Quite a lot. Okay. This one is like too much. Here we did it too much. Because you can see it clearly. But okay, we just go here, we use black, and we fix it. So everything is possible. So dodge and burn, to put it simply, we just go to adjustments, curves, one down, one up, command I to invert mask, wide brush for painting over, opacity 100, flow 2% at most, and then just paint. For a beginning, go easy, and then you always can make it more. Just work on it, practice, and if you have any other question, just write it down, or on Instagram, or whatever. I'm here to help, hopefully. So, see you next time.